The Secret of Asian Weapons. The Asian martial weapons were born thousands of years ago and gave birth to various martial styles tainted with philosophy. With this film, we will introduce you to styles which million people practice across the Asian continent. Master Shofan Tuan, trained by traditional weapon masters and war instructors, reveals his secrets about the Asian weapons. Stick The stick is said to be man's second weapon on earth. The stick exists in every Asian civilization, is used to pick up fruits in the trees, but also to defend against wild animals or against highway renegades. Present in many civilizations, the stick, bow in Japanese or bumpa in Vietnamese, it helps the practitioner to defend himself in another way. First ways of stick handling. The forward eight. The practitioner must turn and draw eights with his bow. Notice the mobility of the hips and of the shoulders. If the practitioner is too stiff when handling the stick, he might get back problems. Let your body follow your stick. Breathe well. The backwards eight. As the name puts it, it's the reverse of the forward eight. The stick strikes upward. You aim at the following points the chin, the plexus, the genitals, or the opponent's arms. Notice again the hips mobility. The body must follow the motion of the stick in order to avoid troubles with the spine. To find the right length of the stick, stand and take a stick of your own height. This movement is called the pecking, like a chicken that pecks. The strikes are launched to the wrist to the head or possibly to the collarbone. The movement known as the pecking may also be done sliding which enables the practitioner to strike very close or far. Watch how the shoulders must go along the pecking movement. Press well with your shoulders and your forearms. Don't forget to breathe well. Breathe out during the impact so that you give more power to your stick strike. Perform this movement while moving forward and backward. This movement must be performed naturally with no restraint. We 
we now tackle the last stick movement, the so-called roaring movement, like a person roaring. Don't mix up this movement with the backwards eight. The movement can lead to a strike to the genitals, to the knees, to the chin, or to the arm with a weapon. Like all the other movements, you need to go along the movement with the hips and the shoulders. Don't forget this advice, breathe well. Breathe out with your mouth and breathe in with your nose. Short combination with the stick. Get the stick behind the back, get it over your head and you strike. Focus on the passage of the stick behind the back. Over the head, this movement enables you to stretch the wrist and the shoulders and to surprise an opponent. Salute with stick. Block with stick. Block against downward strike. You need to go along the block with a dodge. You should not lose eye contact with the opponent. Notice how the hands must slide. Round strike. A block is to be performed always with a dodge and the hand sliding on the stick. Round strike with an elastic block. The practitioner blocks the round attack by dropping one hand and thanks to the elasticity of the stick it blocks the strike. This is the reason why most of the practitioners prefer to have a stick made of bamboo or rattan. Contrary to what it looks like, the elastic block is much more efficient than the previous block. Block 
block with sweeping. Notice how the body must fade out against an attack to the legs. Also notice how the practitioner must open one hand to avoid taking the stick in the fingers. Always thing to dodge when blocking, never stay immobile. Again the block against the sweeping in the legs. New block against a sting. The block is always done with a dodge. Always the same advice, don't forget to breathe well. Breathe during the impact for it will give more power to your block. You must never lose eye contact with the opponent, even when you're moving. Som Rigo, five combinations. First combination. The first stick combination is about working on the sliding technique. A sting, a strike to the temple and sweep between the legs. With only the sliding technique. The first four stick movements will often come back in the five combinations. This technique is called We can translate by the opening cross. We now watch the second stick combination. After the opening cross, that is the four attack movements, the practitioner with the stick combines several kicks. It means that you can use the legs when you hold the stick in your hands. After the first four strike, round kicks, back kicks, a sting and sweep between the legs. Now third combination with various rotations. Notice how Master Show gets under his stick. After the first four movements of the opening cross, a rotation of the head, then of the legs, he goes under the stick and he finishes with a sting and a spade.
The crane flies from the right to the left, surprises its prey in the legs and goes under the bridge in front of the Taoist who stings and digs. As you've noticed, each stick combination goes along a palm. Fourth stick combination. In this combination, it is about stinging work with the stick. The kick is considered as a sting. You can sting to the plexus, to the liver, or to the throat. But during training, you must avoid aiming at the throat, it is too dangerous. This is the fifth combination, a very long one, gathering most of the stick combinations. After the opening cross, roaring strike, backwards eight, sting, sting, sweeping the legs, block and disarming with the stick. The first five stick combinations correspond to the five elements that is, wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. The fifth combination corresponds to the earth element. A stick form or kata. In Vietnamese, you don't say a quen weapon, but a bai weapon. Presented by Yves Parel, fifth dan expert in Hobjako. Hobjako, that is the stick of the arm category. This is a form that enables to work on basic handling. The particular techniques of the arm category. The category shaped an old generation of fighters since the 13th century. Ron Aquan by Yves Parel. Đại Đào Bổng Pháp Kata presented by Sho Phan Toan Đại Đào Bổng Pháp It means the air technique of the halberd In this stick kata we can see the same techniques of the halberd Historically, many students aren't authorized to learn the halberd. This is the reason why the traditional styles teach the halberd with a stick.
The halberd is a sacred weapon. This is the reason why it is taught with a stick. But with a good handling, a stick can prove to be as efficient as a halberd. Nunchaku Nunchaku or Long Nian is a martial weapon that was born in the 10th century. It arrived in the Okinawa Islands around the 14th century but as an agricultural tool. Basic movement. First learn how to catch your nunchaku. Don't ever look at your weapon. Look straight ahead as if you had an opponent. The forward circle. Always work with both hands, don't ever favor one hand. The forward circle. The forward eight. You draw an eight with the nunchaku. Backward circle, you have to catch it behind with a hand or without a hand. The backward circle is a way to disarm an opponent with a knife. The backward circle is to be caught under the armpit with or without the hand. Don't forget to work on both sides. The strike upwards with hand switch. It's about aiming at the chin or at the opponent's hands. After you learn the basic movements, combine them together without looking at your nunchaku. A classic nunchaku stands. Sweep upwards to disarm or to strike on one leg.
direct strike as if it was a direct punch. Direct strike during training get used to strike in every direction and switch from one hand to the other without stopping. Direct strike, one turn, you launch the fist and one turn to bring back the nunchaku. This strike can make you double the impacts onto an imaginary opponent. There too, you must strike in every direction and switch from one hand to the other. Another movement, direct strike, one turn along with a side kick. In Japanese, Yokogeri in Vietnamese, Dangan. Round strike, you aim at the body or at the head. Upward side strike, there are four directions. Downward, side, side, upwards. Four motions in one. Never look at your weapon, always look straight ahead as if you had an opponent. Triangle Strike Three motions in one. Hand switch with an upward strike. Movement done to disarm the opponent. We can combine two movements together, like the triangle attack. Three motions in one with another motion. Another basic movement downwards. As the name puts it, it enables you to attack quickly to the head and to the chin in one single movement. You throw the nunchaku behind and you get it done right away. Also learn how to switch hands very quickly.
side attack. This attack enables you to switch hands without your opponent seeing it. When you switch hands, do so in order for both your hands be behind your back, so that your opponents can see them. View from behind of the hand switch. Some American lab measured the speed of the Nuchaku and the strike power of this weapon. The results showed that the weapon could reach a force of 400 pounds, so beware during training. First Nuchaku Kata, which means the first tail of the dragon. It gathers all the basic techniques of Nuchaku with kicks. When practicing, respect the posing movements. In theory, you should stop slightly before each series. Second Nuchaku Kata, which means the second tail of the dragon. The second Nuchaku Kata favors moving and kick attacks. Kata with two new chakus, San Long Niam Bike Path. It is a form of handling with two new chakus. Ancient Long Saber The Saber Kim Fat 
was created during the Bronze Era in almost every Asian civilization. The saber is held with the blade upwards. There are five main movements which correspond to the five elements. You have the wood element cut downwards. The blade slightly touches the leg. Wood movement which means wood Movement known as the fire. Wa. This is the fastest movement. Notice the movement that goes upwards. Earth movement. The saber practitioner stings mainly to the throat. Movement known as the metal. The practitioner cuts into his opponent's legs while dodging. movement known as the water one. Three, the practitioner must surprise his opponent. The saber is held in reverse. A variation of the fire, which we call the Great Fire. The practitioner cuts at a 360 degree angle around himself. A variation of the water. The water must be unpredictable, even during training. The saber practitioner, Kim Fab, must surprise his usual partners.
With Kim Fat Saber, the drawing back in must be as important as the drawing out. Notice how Master Show draws back in. He makes the blade slide with his four left fingers. All Saber practitioners must draw back in without looking at the sheath. Wakizashi Created in the 10th century, the Wakizashi is a Japanese saber that stems from the Korean saber. The blade of the Wakizashi is no longer than 20 inches, so this is a quite short weapon. The wakizashi may be worked on forward as well as backward. Look how you can switch the grip. Forward grip. Backward grip. The wakizashi is also held with the blade upwards. Like all saber exercises, you shouldn't draw back in while looking at the sheath. Be careful during training, do not drop the saber, it could fall on your foot. Various attacks with Wakizashi Sever to the throat and sting to the throat and possibly to the heart In the old days, warriors used to wear weapons that were so resistant that the wakizashi was unable to pierce them. Practitioners had to sting to the throat. Pair work. So Nguyen Kim. 
This work enables you to increase your performing speed along with great precision. At first, we advise you to work slow motion for your own safety and your partners. Saber kata, done done quick in fast. Three ways of the saber. It is an ancient kata that enables you to work the most beautiful techniques of the saber. Spear The spear appeared on earth at a time when men were still living in caves. Asians gave spears to their soldiers and created simple but efficient techniques. If Parel demonstrates here the kata to be performed in the four directions. Tu mom thương.
double saber. Double saber, some kin, was hidden in the sleeves of the Voyager clothes during the Middle Ages. First saber combination. When partners cross, this movement is called the saber iron fist, gum kim. Second saber combination. Third saber combination. Notice that with the double saber, the legs play an important part. Fourth saber combination. This combination favors the rotations while moving. Fifth saber combination.
Sai. Of Japanese descent, the Sai are a variation of the double sabers. The legend says that a samurai invented them by keeping the air pins of a geisha. The basic movements. The point is to alternate attacks and blocks. Block down and sting. You should train to get the side out and to get it back in quickly. When you get the side back in, it enables you to block the saber blows for instance. You can attack either with the point or with the handle. Point attack. Eight handling. All these ways of handling are used to loosen the wrist. During the fight, these handlings are also used to touch slightly the opponent. The Sai are sometimes much more resistant than a saber, and many samurai are reluctant to fight an opponent armed with a Sai. Conventional side attack versus a katana. Be careful, always work slow motion for your partner's safety and your own.
Beginning of a side kata. Triple stick. The triple stick or Tan Ti Tian is a two war weapon which enables to dismount horsemen and to break the horse's leg. André Lupi, fourth Dan expert and triple stick specialist, demonstrates the basic movement. Be careful when handling the triple stick. The triple stick, as the name shows it, is at once a stick and a chain. The art of weapons is long and difficult. In ancient times, you had to keep the same weapons for five years before you could practice another weapon. But most of the Asian practitioners know at least seven traditional weapons. One they know totally, a second one they know a little less, and so on. We advise you to practice with one weapon seriously before you decide to discover other weapons.
The Tan T Tian Bai Fab is a triple stick kata. It led Mr. Lupi to be several times French champion in technique. Tonfa. Tonfa was known under various shapes until it adopted this definitive shape in Okinawa. An agricultural tool to break dead wood or to beat the rice, it was possibly used to defend oneself against an opponent armed with a saber or a knife. Tonfa basic movements, block and attack. Block, attack and extension. To get the tonfa out, you need to do a sharp little wrist motion. Look how you should get the tonfa back in after you draw it out. Block and reverse attack. Notice the wrist motions. All the weapons have a common point. If you work well with the stick, you'll be as good with the tonfa or the saber because many movements use the wrist work, the elbow work, the shoulders work, not to mention the hip and the legs.
Another way to work with the tone file. Look how you can turn over the tone file. Hey! 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 Hey!